Okay, welcome back to my Let's Play of Shadowrun Dragonfall on the PC. So last time, uh, shit kind of hit the fan in the Cruise Bazaar. The, uh, the big scarred orc, Urukai guy, I don't know, he showed up. He started, he started causing some trouble, uh, I'll admit. And, uh, they planted a bunch of bombs down here in the sewers. And, uh, my first run through... Yeah, I, I had I had some difficulty, and it actually took me. This is my third attempt, I guess. Uh, and I finally did have to bring along the whole crew. Uh, although Deatrix really his only purpose was to put haste onto Bugsy, which stacks, which is pretty interesting. So you can get Bugsy up to like five actions per round, which is pretty nuts. And uh, so yeah, I was able to do it. We have two rounds till the bomb explodes. I can just shoot this guy, shoot this guy. And then, well, I can't make it. Glory can do it. Alright, let's head to the safe house. Take care of Paul. Paul's dead. I assume you mean, like, bury him. Some sort of capacity. <sighs> Good old Paul. I don't think there's really anything else here, so... But yeah, I'll admit that was a little, that was a tricky little section they, they threw at you. I like it. I like it! Because it wasn't just like, oh, be methodical and just, you know, go through here slowly and uncover and blah blah. No, you, had, you actually had to kind of rush in there to disarm the shit. Good stuff. You emerge from the foulness of the sewers only to be met with the equally dark stench of cordite and death. Although you've saved the keys, it is far from unharmed. Residents wander the streets dazed, holding their wounds, tending to others, observing the damage. The look in their eyes tells the story. Their illusion of safety has been shattered. You enter Paul Amsel's trade emporium, already knowing what you'll find there. The knowledge doesn't make the discovery any easier. Once again, the team gathers around Paul Amsel, but tonight he has no more missions to offer and no advice to give. His body lies motionless on the hard wood, cooling in the night air. The ruin of his face has been hidden under a burlap tarp. For several minutes, nobody speaks. Finally, Dietrich stepped forward. I think we should say something about Paul. There's another moment of silence, then Iger speaks up. I'll go. Iger brings herself to attention, stares straight ahead. Paul Amsel was an important member of this team, and he supported us well. He said what he was going to do, and he did it. That's rare. That's worthy of respect. She looks down at the body. There's a long pause before she speaks again. Thank you, Paul Amsel, for everything. Another pause, her voice softens. I was out of position when they came for you. I couldn't save you. I'm sorry. The others shift uncomfortably, not knowing what to say. Glory breaks the awkward moment, her voice a frosty monotone. I appreciate what Amsel did for us. It's another loss, one that this team can't afford. Glory's eyes sweep across the group, then land on Amsel's body. Her expression is impossible to read. After a moment, she turns her head to look at you. Uh, it's part of the job. Paul knew the risks, probably better than most of us. Nothing we can do but clean up and move on. Dietrich closes his eyes, shakes his head steadfast. There's more to this than a mercenary's paycheck, my friend. There has to be. Goodbye, Paul. Gingerly, Blitz steps forward. His hair is mussed, and there's a fresh bullet hole in his jacket. He smells like smoke and blood and stale sweat, and his hands tremble as he takes them out of his pockets. <coughs> well, uh, I didn't know Paul as well as the rest of you, but he seemed like a good guy. He shuffles his feet. I didn't want to see this happen, at any rate. You okay, Blitz? Looks like you and Mallet saw some action back there. Yeah. I'll live. As if in turn, Dante lowers his head sadly, lets out a heavy sigh, and closes his eyes. We need to take care of his body. We can't leave it there. I'll take care of it after we watch the chip. Don't worry, I know what to do. Be respectful, but be quick. After all, it is only a shell. Paul's with Monica now. We're all going to be with Monica soon if we don't do something. The Firewing came after us once. She'll do it again. Uh, Dragon really wants us dead. No shit. Whatever she's playing, it's clear that Fire Swing will allow no disruptions from us or from anyone. Come on, everyone. Let's get a look at that optical chip. I want to see what we're dealing with. All right. Let's all shuffle away from the body. The 
Cool blue tones in the workstation, the main menu, fill the screen. I have an unread message. Nice! Rot in hell. Oh, okay, this guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, so th this is the guy that, uh... That, uh, ran the soy calf shop and wanted us to... Well, like, he didn't want us to put the power, bring the power down, but I did it anyways, because I'm Bugsy. But then he got really pissed off, but we were like, oh, if we just, like, remove any info about where, you know, the power disruption came from, because it was right next to his shop, you know, it'll be fine. He's like, all right, if you do that, we'll be cool, but otherwise, it's going to be, you know, you know, you're going to screw us and say, you really screwed us. And I said that he looked like the, uh, the one guy from Ong Bak. If anybody has seen that movie, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Well, you really screwed us. I hope you're happy about that. An hour after your little party at the Azzy compound, the whole district was crawling with Knight Errant. And who do you think they came to see? You guessed it, Drexow. They came to us, just like we said they would. Danny's dead, Mira's a wreck, and we need to keep moving just to stay alive. All thanks to you. I hope you're rotten hell. Okay. Bugs, you don't care. Uh, did I get money? I did get money. The DNA donor list. That was only worth 504. This was like direct info straight from Mega Corp servers. It's worth 540 new yen. Screw you, computer. You slot the optical chip into the computer's waiting chip jack. On the screen, Alice's office blo blossoms into view. A half second later, a real time simulation of Alice appears, seated behind her mahogany desk. Something about it reminds you of a figure from a wax museum. Lifelike, but dead inside. It greets you with a simile of Alice's joyless smile. Customer name, Bugsy. Its voice is hollow, synthetic, an automaton masquerading as a living woman, one who you've never even met in the flesh. Account number 1012579. Greetings, valued customer. I am an offline simulacrum of the Alice persona. I've been included on this chip to answer any questions you might have about your information purchase. Nifty piece of tech. Not now, Blitz. If you are ready to proceed, I will present Alice's findings. You may interrupt this presentation at any point by saying, Alice, I have a question. Okay, go. Very well, commencing presentation. The simian claim goes rigid for a moment, then seems to relax. When it speaks, it sounds more natural, as though the real Alice is speaking through it. Alright, Bugsy, I've got good news for you, and I've got bad news. Let's start with the good news. I found Vauclair, and he is alive. Thank God. The trail to your missing doctor was a long and slippery one. The fee that you paid me barely covered my cost for the job. I sent a team into the socks on a fact-finding mission. I bribed government officials, I greased the palms of wage slaves and megacorps all across Europe. Each step I took eliminated possibilities, drew me a little bit closer, and finally I found the place where Vauclair is being held. The simulacrum makes a sweeping gesture with his right hand and an image switch blades onto the screen. A grainy overhead photograph annotated with map coordinates. You recognize it immediately. This is where you'll find him. He's being held captive at a remote estate called the Harfeld Manor. You've got to be kidding me. He was there the whole time? Glory says nothing. She just studies the photograph and nods. Okay, nobody tell me. I get it. This is something else that I missed. Okay. <clears throat> the simulator composes and a brief tremor washes over its bodies. Its eyes flutter and you can hear the sound of your computer working to process more of the chip's data. Iger turns to address the team. If Vauclair's at Harfeld, we've got problems. The last time we broke into that place, they took Monica out. It's a miracle that any of you got out alive. Yeah, but now we know what's down there. This time, we'll be prepared for it. We can handle this. No, it'll be even worse this time. The first time we went in, we had the element of surprise on our side. But now, they'll be expecting us. They're hunting us, remember? Their security team is going to be waiting for us, Dietrich. That Audrin bastard is going to be waiting for us. And even if we make it past them, we're going to have to deal with the dragon in the basement. I think that's like an, a metaphor, dragon in the basement. You know what I'm talking about. Well, what else can we do? Cut and run? Last time I checked, this wasn't that wasn't an option either. Even if it were, I wouldn't take it. I'm not running from this. Not after what they did here tonight. Uh. <laughs> no guts, no glory. Simicum jerks back to life. It resumes speaking, blissfully unaware of the conversation that is cutting off. And now, Bugsy, on to the bad news. You now know where Vauclair is, but rescuing him will not be possible. Alice, I have a question. Why the hell not? 
In the course of my investigation, I encountered something terrifying in the Matrix. It was fast, cunning, and very def def definitely intelligent. I'm convinced that I only escaped because it let me go. Could have killed me in a heartbeat if I wanted to. <gasps> Near Lethotep in the Matrix! That was my idea! This thing that I met is protecting the Harfeld Manor, and it's going after anyone who gets too close to what's happening there. Alice, what did you see in there? What is going after these people? By way of explanation, I would like you to read the following document. Simicrum makes another sweeping gesture, and the menu slides back onto the screen. This time, it is filled with text. What you're looking at is an archived forum discussion from the early days of the Shadowland BBS. Blitz stares at the text on the screen. She, uh, it isn't kidding, Chief. This discussion is dated back to 2036. That's ancient history in the Decking community. Probably isn't even correct to call these guys Deckers. Hackers would be the more appropriate term. When you're finished reading it over, say, Alice, I'm done, and we can continue. Give me a summary. <laughs> yes, very well. Recap. The discussion in question relates to a rumored artificial intelligence project called Apex. Sater Group was rumored to have been developing the AI for Matrix Warfare purposes. The project was abandoned in 2036 when the entire development team died under mysterious circumstances. Forum posters speculate the development team was killed by Lofweer, the new CEO of Sater Group, in an effort to wipe out the project. Apex is presumed to have been deleted as part of the same effort. End of recap. Alright, I'm done. <clears throat> there are no official records in the Sater Croup database to support the existence of the Apex project, but the thing that I encountered was Apex. Of that I am certain. Just as I am certain that Apex was responsible for the death of Monica Schaefer, Green Winters, Clockwork, Peregrine, and a score of other Deckers over the last 16 years. Hold up. Uh, Alice, I have a question. I thought they said that Lofweer killed Apex. They speculated as much, yes. They were wrong on that count. I do believe that Sater Group is developing Apex as a tool for Matrix Warfare. I am also convinced that the IT personnel who were killed were the Apex development team, but I don't think the Lofair was responsible for their deaths. Apex killed them. That'd be my guess, yes. In the turmoil surrounding Lofair's buyout of Sater Group, a number of projects went missing. I believe that Apex was appropriated by a member of Fire Schwing's organization at this point. It was then unleashed on its own development team to silence them. Since then, it has provided information control for the Firewing. A pet AI would explain how Fireswing has managed to maintain her conspiracy and avoid detection for the past two decades. Anytime anyone gets close, the AI takes them out and scrubs the record clean. So there's your bad news, Bugs. Evo Claire is being held at the Harfeld Manor, but knowing that does you no good because you can't approach the place. I doubt you could open the door without Apex frying you. We did last time. They were trying to protect their secret. Like Audrin said, if we hadn't gone down to the basement, they'd have let us go. Apex didn't reach us until Monica attempted to force the door to the basement. Reacting to, okay. And now that the cat's out of the bag, they have no reason not to pull out the big guns on sight. You're right, we can't go back while Apex is in place. The room falls into silence. Finally, Iger turns to you. What's the play, Bugsy? Oh good, this one dialogue option. We can't turn back now. If Apex is standing between us and Vauclair, then we need to find a way to kill Apex. Fucking A, boss, I'm in. You're not invited. Did you hear that, Alice? Do you have any suggestions? <clears throat> the AI is a kill switch, but Alice deemed any additional contact with Apex to be an unjustifiable risk. Attempting to reach the kill switch would be an inadvisable. I'll be the judge of that. Alice, tell us about Apex's kill switch. Thanks to my close encounter with the AI, I was able to run a trace on it. Through this trace, I discovered the physical address of a backdoor access point for Apex's programming, an old Sater Group research lab long since abandoned and fallen into disrepair. The facility is now hotly contested gang territory. I have also determined that a kill switch for the AI exists somewhere in the basement of this facility. I will provide you with a physical address. I don't like the smell of this, Chief. It said that Apex let Alice escape. Alex, Alice, why would a Matrix Warfare AI allow you to run a trace on it? I'm afraid that the answer to that question falls outside the scope of my written parameters. You have now reached the end of this presentation. I have been encoded with a final message from Alice to Bugsy. Playback commencing. Bugsy, if you didn't listen to me before, listen to me now. Drop this. Stop going after Vauclair, get out of Berlin, and stay out of the Matrix. I'm telling you this for your own good. That's all I have to say. I'm following my own advice. I'm out. Don't try to contact me again. <laughs> okay. So the dragon has a killer AI in charge of security. I can't say I'm surprised, but then nothing surprises me anymore. We know what killed Monica, we have a name for it, and we know how to kill it. That's good enough for me. We know what we have to do. We can either stand around talking about it, or we can go do it. 
Uh, alright. We shut down Apex, then we re-enter the estate and rescue Beauclair. He's the key to this whole thing. Sounds like a plan, boss. I still say that all this is crazy talk, Chief. Ta taking on an AI isn't just a bad idea. It's suicide. But my vote is cut and run. <sighs> but if you're really doing this, you want the best decker you can find along for the ride. And I guess that nominates me. Woo. Alice said that the kill switch is located in some old SK facility. Assuming that the site was shut down sometime after the Apex project disappeared, it could have stood empty for years, maybe decades. She also said the building was in gang territory now. I wonder if it'll be anything like Das Kessel House was. God, I hope not. There's only one way to find out. Let's get prepped. This thing isn't going to kill itself. <sighs> Can't believe I'm saying this, but you better bring me along. You try going up against an AI without a Nova Hot Decker at your side, and you're probably going to regret it. Improvise, adapt, overcome. Whatever's there, we'll deal with it. First, we find our way into the basement. And then we kill the AI that killed Monica. Damn right. Okay. You did good out there, defending the cruise bazaar. You've had our backs the entire way. Made good decisions. Are we gonna hug now? Oh, you want some of this? At least you can take it. I'd probably break the others. Come on, you two. We got a job to get ready for. You're not invited, Dietrich! Just because you have haste doesn't matter. I'd still rather have glory. She doesn't piss me off. Okay, how much karma do I have? I have 10. Okay. Probably body? Um. Because that just gives me more HP, which I kind of need. Everything else is kind of just incidental. I mean willpower and dodge to kind of avoid getting hits or yeah but just take body to get more HP then you can take all the hits okay good 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 I don't think anybody has any new shit no so let's move on Unless there's a new gun to buy or something. Now would be the time. Uh, okay. Yeah, show me the goods. Quit your jabbing. Quit your jibber jabbing. Uh, blah, blah, blah. The Defiance T250. Well, apparently the Defiance D250 is better damage. It has smaller capacity, and it probably doesn't have burst fire, but it does slightly more damage. But I can't afford the Smartling unless I sell something, which I'm sure I can sell something like this. So, yeah, we'll, we'll buy it. It's the best shotgun in the game. How can I not buy it? And I guess I'll carry both just for the hell of it. Alright. Let's go. Light the fires, kick the tires. Let's take down an AI. It's going to be like iRobot. Spoilers! Assemble the team and travel to the coordinates that Alice provided. Find a backdoor access point and shut down the Apex AI. Glory. Blitz. Iger. Screw you, Dietrich. <laughs> Apex. An artificial intelligence designed for matrix warfare. The thought of it sends a chill down your spine. No, it doesn't. It's Bugsy. For years, the shadows have been ripe with rumors of true AI. Names like Mirage and Psychotrope have fueled conspiracy boards on the Shadowland BBS since 2029. Most shabby Shadowrunners dismiss these stories as bunk. But from what Alice has told you, at least one of the stories is real. Apex is waiting for you somewhere down in the basement of an abandoned Seder Croup lab. Unfortunately, you're going to have to wade through a lot of gang territory to get there. Oh. I'm shaking in my boots. Huge orc in ragged combat fatigue steps forward to meet you. He walks with a swollen bravado, a swole, 
uh, of a man who's used to getting what he wants. One of his meaty arms jerks up, hand held upright, and the universal sign for stop. The other clutches a bulky assault rifle. York inspects his body language. It's decidedly unfriendly. You don't look like a magnificer. You're not one of us, and I'm guessing you ain't here for the hub either. So tell me, who are you and what's your interest in this building? Actually, I am here for the hub. That kind of gear? Bullshit. If you're here for the hub, then I'm a cross-dressing L. This building is under arbiter protection. Can't let anyone buy us packing that kind of heat. We don't want the building getting shot up after all. Maybe I should put a few bullets in you instead. Sure you want to go down this road, friend? We've got you on gun and we're no, in no mood to be screwed with. Yes, yeah, finally a benefit for being a big, huge troll. Who said anything about guns? Back down or I'll break you in half, little orc. Take it easy, friend. I'm not going to draw on you. You just you just caught me at a bad time. You know, if, we're look, if you're looking for work, we could use a troll like you. Get you some spare cash and a free pass into our building all at once. How does that sound? And what exactly do you want us to do? We're having some trouble with the local mage gang, the Magnificers. They attacked us without warning, took up in our building, and kicked us onto the streets. Me and my boys were the rightful protectors of this block. But the assholes that screwed us, they've got the building buttoned up pretty tight. Can't get in there to make things right, but maybe you can. If you could enter the building and do some damage to those Drekki Magnificers, the Arbiters would be willing to pay you. 200 New Yen per kill. You bring them back their amulets and you get paid. How's that sound? Uh, you know the timetable work. I ain't got time for that. Um, I'm gonna put you down. Big mistake, man. Big mistake. Oh, now he acts all tough. Good luck with that, man. Why do they get to go first? I'm super quick. I'm like the flash of trolls. I guess they're just kind of positioning themselves, but still. <laughs> Stupid Ulrich, what were you thinking? <laughs> All right, let's, we got a heavy, an enforcer, an enforcer, and a fizz adept. Screw the fizz adept. Go eat that shit. What is this? Flush target. Loses her cover bonus for the rest of the turn. That's pretty cool. Uh, alright. Well, at least you're a decker. Ulrich is dead. Nice. Your fearless leader is dead. You're still gonna fight? Why? Flee. Oh, damage plus 10. That sounds painful. Oh, but good thing you ran right up to Bugsy. Dumbass. Ooh. Reload. Really put it into him, Blitz. Yeah. God, you're terrible. You have an Uzi and you're right in front of him. I you have a sniper rifle. Four damn jeez, that cover. See, it's all up to Bugsy all the time. You should just have Buggy and Bugsy and then like three healers. That's what I should have. They have, then they just have heal spells and haste, and that that's how that would work. See, boom. Do some damage. Can you kill this guy? What are the odds? Hey, look at that. Nice job. And we'll flush him out. We'll flush him out. Nice. It's not very good, but I can ignore his armor completely. Ooh, nice. Nice. 
Not like I expected the gangs to be, a, a, you know, a whole lot of trouble. Done. So you got like a key or something? Yep. Ganger's key. The ganger's key. Ganger mask. Grants plus one kickness and plus five HP. I don't know what, I don't remember what, why doesn't it tell you the stats for this? Shit. Okay, it's like a bunny mask. It absolutely is a bunny mask, but I have 11 quickness now. So that's good. Elevator control chip. And a premium med kit. Alright, let's head into the front entrance. Guns blazing. Oh, this must be the hub. Uh, ask your decker to examine the control panel. Your decker easily pries the metal casing away from the wall, exposing the massive wires and circuitry. After a quick inspection, it becomes clear that this elevator is wired to operate around a control chip. Blah, blah, blah. I have the control chip, however. No, I definitely took the control... It's... I... It's here. Yes, see? I have the control chip. They just... That's weird. I don't want to go up. I want to go down. Stay on this floor. Alright, who else am I going to have to kill then? I will kill pretty much anybody. Oh my god, it's like Bradley Cooper or something. Parson. The Splendor of Communion. Oh my god. Can you tell me anything about this building? Need to get down to the basement. Stairway leading down the building. Someone has been blocking. Elevator has been sabotaged. What favor. A pair of squatters on the second floor ripped the guts out of one of my terminals. Jeez. There won't be any need for violence. I need that information, I need it now. Unless you want to see some real violence, tell me what I want now. Killing me will only allow me to join forever with the community. Oh my god. Witness me! Oh, Jesus. But the elevator, I have it. I took the key. I, I have it. I have the chip. Why won't it let me enter? What a bug. It's so bullshit. It's bullshit. Well, I'm going to look around. There might be another way, but I took I took the chip. I took it. I have it. What are these guys doing? Voting? I doubt they're voting. I don't know. Masturbating? One of the two. It's either one of those two. Carl! 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 Okay. Need some info. What do you want to know? What's the layout of this place like? Well, you're on the first floor. That's the hub in my shop. Second floor has basically been converted into makeshift apartments. The Magnificers are up there. Third floor is housing too. Parsons Communion Crazies live up there. Their main crib is up there too. Damn. But what about the chip? Why is it so useless? Uh, fine, we'll go to the second floor and we'll kill a bunch of mages, but I don't want to do it because I have the chip. You just automatically shoot at anybody that opens your door? I don't know if that's a good policy. I think you get in trouble with policies like that. Especially when Bugsy's on the job. Um, what does he get? 
yeah, oh, he's got the mark target. Well, I can flush out one of these bastards, I guess. Probably shouldn't be this guy. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> well, we're gonna kill him, because we can. Old magey stuff, and I'm gonna spells and summons and mage stuff and bows. Accuracy minus 10%. That could affect Bugsy. Although, probably not. He has 11 quickness right now. Just beasting and beasting. Oof. Blitz can finish that. Yes. Yes, he can. Eh, reload. Stupid. Yeah, stupid. Probably want to kill the freaking conjurer. I should do this. Damn it. See, then he gets all this kind of shit going on. It's just not good. Yeah, just t turn your back right in front of Bugsy. Nice going. Oh, man, he killed him. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, crazy. Crazy stuff. All right, go, go slice up the Ifrit. Damn it, you suck, Glory. Why do I bring you along? It's just kind of habit at this point. Nah, that's not terrible. All right, it's gonna take one epic shot right here. Nope, not quite. All right, I'll let I'll give Glory a chance. No, no, I don't think it's gonna happen. So we'll let Blitz try it. Do an aimed shot. There we go. A spell book. Bugsy, pick it up. Uh, the most basic spell every mage knows and always has ready. Yeah, okay. Another spell book. Glue. Okay. I like, I, I don't think Bugsy would even know it was a spell. He assumes every book is a spell book. Have your Decker bypass the lock and open the door. Yep, and he does so. Good. What's going on? Oh, Janet, you're who I'm sent to kill. Uh, sweet talk. Cut the shit and start talking. Parsons sent me. No way, those parts are keeping us online. Not just us, but everyone worth a new yen in this hole. Parsons can keep running his ridiculous little cult just fine with what he's got. But us, we're the only Matrix connection these people have. Uh, don't want this to get messy. Attack before she... Enough talk! Alright. Now, see, if I use my quickness, that means I get to just shoot you before you can move. That's the point of quickness. But you moved into a damn stupid spot, I'll tell you that. Real stupid. <sighs> Glory. Thank you. You cut her in half, I think. Uh, well, okay. Flush him out. Well, that's a rig. Oh, okay, yeah. Nice. So that's what I try to do. Wow. 
90 per XCOM! Wow. That sucks. No, I don't need to stun him. He's gonna die. Okay, whatever. Done. Blows up the drone instantly, because that's how shit works. Eat this. Nice. I like games where, you know, I don't have to worry about percentages of success. Because it always, like, when, when it screws you, you know how bullshit it was. Namely, XCOM and this game. No, that's not true. I'm making shit up because Fallout 2 is, like, one of my favorite games of all time. And that's definitely the case in that game. guy's behind some good cover. Or I just can't get the angle right. This should be good. 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 Alright, if you want to play this, you're gonna lose. Look, look at, look at this. Look at this shot. Boom! Boom! Get wrecked. Hacker terminal. Grab it all. Take the signal converter. It takes almost no time to identify the components Parson sends you to find. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I'm sure Blitz just pointed it out to me. That's what happened. Alright, we're done here. We're moving on. Ground floor. Even though I have the chip for the elevator and I find this real bullshit. I'm gonna help out this crazy cultist. Uh, recover the parts for your terminal. Let me see them. Yes, these are parts I need. Thank you, friend. I trust that there was no trouble, that you were able to obtain them without bloodshed. Of course, we never spill blood when we don't have to. Oh, that is wonderful news. Truly, truly wonderful. If you're still hell-bent on meeting with Trithemius, Take the stairs up to the third floor. You'll find an abandoned apartment at the end of the hall. Look for a stylized M painted on the wall. Okay, there's an old bookcase in the very back of the apartment. Blah, blah, blah. How do you know all this? Because that abandoned apartment's what was once mine. Okay. Why am I going? I thought I was going to the basement. What do I know? <sighs> third floor. Past these rooms, past these rooms, all the way down here. Run in here, straight to the bookcase. Boom. Uh oh, shit's going down in here. A rail thin elf wearing a comically ornate wizard's robe stands at the center of the room. When he speaks, his voice wavers and cracks. So, you're the one who's been turning my home upside down. I assume that you came in search of my head at Ulrich's behest. I would warn you, stranger, he cannot be trusted. Uh, Ulrich's dead. Really? Well, this is welcome news indeed. You have my thanks, stranger. I don't need your thanks. I need to get in the basement, and that magical item would be appreciated too. Ah, yes, the basement. To reach the basement, you must use the elevator. The stairs have collapsed. There's no other way. When we took over from the Arbiters, I removed the power coupling from the elevator controls. I had to keep Ulrich out of his primary armory. In exchange, Ulrich removed the elevator control chip, a petty move presumably to prevent us from accessing that same armory after we retreated. As if we'd have need for such mundane weapons. <laughs> uh, okay. Send that shit out of here. Take the coupling and this spirit focus. As you see, I honor my deal. Now be gone if you please. Be gone. Be gone. All right. I don't really care to fight these guys if I don't have to. Okay, so that's what was wrong. I missed the power coupling, and it may have said that in the dialogue. I don't know. 
Whoa, there's some shit going on in there. Look at that. People are summoning demons in their bedrooms. That's a metaphor. All right, elevator. Pop it open. Repair the elevator. You easily pry the metal casing away from the wall, exposing a mess of wires and circuitry. When you slot the control chip and the power coupling into place, the system immediately hums to life. Okay, let's push it. The elevator rumbles and clanks its way downward into the guts of the old Sater Croup development lab. Eighteen years ago, this place, and the project that was being developed here, disappeared from the record books. Thanks to Alice, you are one of the few people alive today who understand why. Alice was clear about one thing. You are here because Apex wants you to wants you to be. If the AI hadn't wanted to trace it in here, she'd have wound up as dead as Monica. For better or worse, you're here at Apex's invitation. The elevator grinds to a halt. The doors slide open, and your nostrils are salted by eighteen years' worth of stale air. Apex and the kill switch that will deactivate it await. This must be the old server facility. Apex's access terminal should be down here somewhere. All right, so we're going to end off here for this video. In an ideal perfect world, uh, we'll have one more video where we finish up here with the kill switch and Apex and that. And then we have a video after that where we go and kill the dragon. And then that's that. But I doubt that will be the case. So maybe three more videos. Hard to say. But anyways, my name is Mang. Game you've been watching is Shadow on Dragonfall. And I'll see you fine folks in the next part.